So, Bernard, we have just tasted the three tor of eggs. Yeah. Um, I have something extra for you here, something new. Uh, this has just been released this week. Um, and this is the latest in a series of cask collaborations between Mossburn Distillers, Torvig's parent company, mm -hmm. and other spirit producers around the world. Right. So this is the second in our cask collaboration series. Okay. Um, and this is a collaboration with uh, Dupont Calvados. Um, so this is a 12-year-old Speyside blended malt. Uh, all of the liquid is finished for at least 12 months in Calvados uh, casks from uh, Dupont. I happen to have a Calvados at home, okay. a 13 year old from uh, an independent bottler. And when you nose this one here, it's so obvious that it's Calvados cask. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that lovely apple yeah. touch. So uh, I, I, had a, I had a dram of this last night. As you can see, this, this bottle has. Has had a few drums out of it. Yeah. Um, it was shared. I will add, it wasn't just me. Um, and and for me, the the nose, the palate, it's it's that pure apple strudel. Mm. It's yeah. it's even if it would have been flavored, it's so intense. Yeah, absolutely. So what's the liquid? It's a blended malt from the space. So side. blended malt from space side. I genuinely do not know yeah. the the component parts. Um, the I think that the company are quite careful at not telling me these things because mm. I get too excited. <laughs> uh, I'm too much of a nerd not to get excited. So if there was something in there that was a bit unusual, I would be far too excited to to not uh, to avoid going. Oh, there's a bit of. Um, so I, I don't know uh, what what liquid is in there. It's all to me. It's it's relatively light liquid. Um, I expect it will be heavily uh, from the Diageo stable of of liquids. Mm. Um, but so this liquid was blended together and then filled into the right. filled into the casks. Right. So the casks were brought to to Scotland and it was matured there. Yes, yeah. correct. So, so it can be called a Scotch. Absolutely. Right. Yes. Well, one has to say it's not uh, watered down a lot or even at all. It's not at all. So this is bottled at batch strength. So batch strength of 57.2%. Yeah. And I'm having to look at the bottle because uh, this has literally come out this week. Yeah. So um, this is, this is I haven't been talking about this much very yet, uh, very much yet. So um, I, am, I am having to look at the bottle to check the strength. So it's vanilla, cream, sweet, green apple, uh, a little bit more citrus tones above it. Yeah. Beautiful nose. Let's try it, Slange. Slange, thank you for bringing this with you. Mm. Mm. So there is that little bit of spiciness that comes from from the original whiskies that marries in with that that apple apple flavour. And for me, that's that apple strudel. It's just Absolutely. and it, and and it, it's. Uh, would I have made that analogy had I not just spent three days in, in Austria? Perhaps not, <laughs> but it seems entirely appropriate. You could really use that as a dish of Steve. Yes, yes. So this yeah. is, so the genesis uh -huh. of the cask collaborations are Neil, our whiskey maker's career in whiskey. Okay. So our career in spirits rather. So for the last three decades or so, uh, Neil has been working in spirits, working with spirit producers, renowned spirit producers mm. around the world. So the the first of these cast collaborations came out last year, this time mm. last year, and it was a collaboration with Four Square Rum Distillery in Barbados. Right. And uh, so Neil's had a very long-standing relationship with Richard Seal. Uh, they both have a very similar approach to spirit production, um, believing in integrity. Um, mm. And Neil has had a, a long-standing relationship with the, the Dupont family. Uh, so he and Bruce uh, went over to, to Calvados to pick the casks. Um, so 18 casks came Lucky back guys. to Scotland. Um, I mean, what a job. Yeah. Uh, it's, there are times when doing our jobs, we have to pinch ourselves. Um, there's times we get to do some pretty incredible things. Do you know how long it was finished in those casks? At least 12 months. Okay, because so, 
very intense, but it's not overshadowing the whiskey. That's yeah. something that's very important, I think, for, for things that are finished it's yeah. finished in something. Yeah. So there was a there was a, a mix of uh, Calvados and Pomo casks. Mm -hmm. Um, and a range of sizes from 230 um, up to 470 litres. So that's why we'll have that slight range of ages in, 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 in finishing. So mm. minimum of 12 months. But um, Neil is obviously constantly monitoring the liquid. And at a certain point, some of it, he may have gone, OK, we need to take that out of cask. Um, and so it's a, it's, it's a beautiful blend. It is. Absolutely. Thank you for bringing this with you. You're very welcome and thank you for your time. Pleasure having you here.